speak about resilience speak about undergoing everything possible trying to make it out of this battle that she has been undergoing that is what you should remember with a name is actress Boire Dubi she was an actor in the series that had on citizen tv by the name of sultana the news that we are receiving these to, uh, today is that actress Buira Dubi uh, has passed. Sultana actress, a uh, real name is Winnie Dubi Buire, passed on today. A death was announced by the family on Thursday morning. The actress succumbed as she had went cancer treatment in Turkey. And I shall quote the statement that was given by the family. It is with a heavy heart and a humble acceptance of God's will that we announce Winfred Buir and Doobie lost a battle to cancer on 5th September 2024 while undergoing treatment in Turkey, the family said in the statement. The family thanked all who supported the actress as she battled the killer disease. It is said more details will be issued on later. We thank you all for your overwhelming support, prayers and generous giving during a treatment. We will share more details in due course. A death comes barely a month after she appealed for financial support to continue with her cancer treatment. Duby was seeking 5 million to cover the cost of her treatment, including accommodation and meals during her stay in Turkey where she was going for treatment. In our last video appealing for help, which was shared on our social media pages on August 14th, which is, less, which is about two weeks ago, the actress explained that she was doing well with the medication until she began experiencing side effects. And I shall quote her, You won't believe it. It has over 41 side effects, and you never know which one will hit you. You experience some of them at different times and it keeps changing, she narrated. She said her doctors advised her to stop taking the medication. Although she had secured visas for a treatment abroad, she said financial constraints held her back. If you can support me, I have nothing to give in return but you will save my life. I didn't want this video to be emotional. I wanted it to be filled with hope, she said in the video. Right now, I'm so frustrated by how expensive healthcare is. Every time I, I feel like I have made ten, yeah, 10 steps forward, it is like I am being dragged back a height steps, eight steps. Thank you so much for praying for me. Now that was a last statement that she made to the public and the people of the country uh, trying to seek uh, help so that she will get the help that she needed. And on March 1st, the year 2024, is when she, she opened up. Uh, her name was Dida while she was playing the, the role that she used to play. And a very vibrant, one of the most talented actresses that we have ever seen in this country. Now, in, in the popular citizen TV series Sultana, she opened up on an emotional two-year journey battling breast cancer. And she did this in, uh, uh, which was March of this year, first March of this year. Speaking to citizen TV, uh, she spoke to Lulu Hassan, shoflaked sho by a mother on, on Friday. And then, Buira narrated that she was diagnosed with cancer following about a bout of pain on the humpit, which would occasionally occur during a menstrual appearance. Now, she first consulted a doctor who dismissed any detention, detention of cancer herself. However, the pain persisted, he, uh, and she opted to visit a gynecologist who detected cancerous cells after conducting a biopsy. Buira revealed that upon being diagnosed with cancer, she was fearfully of the possibility of losing a role as Dinda in the Sultana TV series because of the 
misconception of chemotherapy being a traumatic process. She went ahead to note that the TV show was a saving grace as it kept her occupied and gave her a sense of hope. Alicia thought, I thought I was going to be fired. I did not think I could shoot Sultan and still receive medication because of the brainwashing concept on chemotherapy and cancer. She stated in a virtual appearance on the show from Turkey where she was pre uh, receiving treatment and where she has passed today. Buddha noted that the stigma associated with cancer discourages the patients because people mostly think that they will not survive the disease. The stigma puts us down and people do not see you for anything more than cancer, she added. Now, she said that the cancer journey was slightly bearable the onset, but going, got worse after sh she finished filming the Sultana TV series. Consequently, she sought medical attention whereby the doctor discovered that the cancerous cells and spread to other organs including the brain, bones uh, and breast after getting a PET scan. Now, upon advice from the doctor, she began radiotherapy on the brain and put the breast one on a pause as the cancerous cells in the brain interfere with balance and coordination which could cause dire consequences and i shall quote her after wrapping up sultana the cancer got worse the doctor conducted a pet scan after the test results came out the cancer had spread to other organs she stated now my doctor suggested that we should first deal with the one in the brain because it interferes with the, the quality of life buddha recalled that she had symptoms of brain meta metastasis like constant headaches vomiting and cognitive impairment which triggered memory loss prior to realizing that the cancer cells and spread i had a certain symptoms like my brain did not coordinate very well I had constant headaches and vomiting a lot. The symptoms aligned with the PET scan that was Buddha revealed. Now she noted that radiotherapy took a toll on her due to feeling exhausted and experiencing hormonal imbalance. Although she drew a strength from receiving encouragement from her family and fans. Additionally, Buddha shed light on the fear that surrounds cancer screening, noting that people should do it often because she the chances of survival are higher. She referred to a mother who is a cancer survivor, noting that the disease is curable if detected in its early stages. A lot of people have the fear to get screened for cancer even if they have side effects. I think it is because of the stigma that surrounds cancer. When people hear it, they think of death. The, act the actress said. Now, Buddha further revealed that she decided to seek treatment from a hospital in Turkey because she felt that her case was mis mismanaged. My treatment was slightly mismanaged, mishandled, so the family opted to get outside help and consultations. By the time they started talk taking the illness seriously, the disease was far too far gone. That was when we decided to get treatment outside. We were referred to Abida, uh, Aki, Akibadem, Akibadem Hospital in Turkey. Buira said that she began her treatment on Monday then and has noticed significant improvement. She remains hopeful. She remained hopefully that she will survive the disease, maintaining that she had a lot to live for. But life sometimes has... I don't know how can I put it. She says when I be, she said when I began the healing journey, I decided that cancer was not going to kill me. I have so much to live for. I am still young. I found the actress. Now the mother described her as a hardworking and multi-talented woman who will survive the disease because she is obedient, hardworking, and multi-talented. I just know she will make it because she is a fighter. She has the zeal to live. Buddha expressed that cancer can take a toll on the patient's mental health, noting that it could even lead to depression and stress. Cancer is seriously an emotional journey. It is more about the mental state than the physical pain. You get treatment for the pain, but the depression and stress makes the situation worse, stated Buddha. The actress appealed to well wishes for financial medical help, emphasizing that the treatment is very costly and that the family has used all the available resources to pay for a medical treatment.
that's what's up i remember this is celeb corner ke and the story on here is in the guns to win a boy is dead dinda from sultana for now make sure you subscribe